Hello, beer YouTube. Just welcome to another beer review. With me here, the Magic Rabbits today, looking at yet another beer sent to me from Lode in Belgium at BelgianBeers.com. Uh, guys, if you want to buy some beers on the website, there is a 10% discount code in the description below. So remember to use that one if you decide to pick up some beer. Now today, guys, we're going to be looking at another Lambic. This one's from Lindemanns. Now. Lindemann's is not my favorite Lambic maker whatsoever in Belgium. Um, they do the Cuvée Rene series. I've only had the Creek, Cuvée Rene Creek, the Cuvée Rene Creek. I don't know how you say that. <laughs> but um, and that was really, really good compared to their other Creek. I think the only beer I reviewed was the, the, the Lindemann's Creek, which I reviewed with the Vicky over in the States. And that's kind of a, a little bit of a girly beer, it's sweet, it's, yeah, you know, and then other beers are like that. I mean, they do a wider range of beers, they do like even a tea style lambic, or they did at one point, they do apple and, and peach and whatnot. But the one we're looking at today is the Cassis, which is black currant lambic. Three and a half percent alcohol, uh, kind of an interesting description here on the back, it says, uh, Belgian beer flavored with black currants, black currant juice, which is 25% of the beer, sugar and sweetener contains malted barley and wheat. Sweetener, oh yeah, well, well. Uh, and then some spelling errors here, but Lambic is traditional black currant beer based on Lambic. Lambic is a Belgian beer exclusively brewed in Brussels, re the Brussels region. The local wild yeast causes spontaneous fermentation. After one year on oak, selected, selected black currant juice is added and give a fresh, fruity, and delicious taste. So, this should be interesting. I've had one blackcurrant flavored, or blackcurrant lambic before. And that was the one from McKellar, the Spontan. Yeah. It looks like Ribena. It looks, if you get Ribena, it's a cordial, um, you will know what I'm talking about, but it looks just like it. I've had one, as I said, it's a McKellar one, and that one is really, really good. Uh, it's both sour and tart and got some of the black currant flavors. It's like a really dark, kind of ruby red, slightly purple flavor, flavor of color, <laughs> a purple pinkish head. Let's take out the aroma. It smells like Ribena. It literally does. It doesn't smell like beer. It smells like Ribena. Just black currant cordial or black currant juice. I mean, I can't really say that the Lindemann beers are bad. They're sweet and fruity and kind of girly, but they don't taste bad. They taste like juice, and who doesn't like juice, you know? Um, so that's the thing, but they're not, let's just say they're not authentic Lambics, except it's the QDLMA versions, but this has a little bit of a tartness to it, and a little bit of an oaky note. Some sugary notes as well, but it just smells like Rabina. The black currant is dominating that aroma, and it, it smells nice. It does smell nice. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes like Ribena. It's actually a little more tart than like the Creek and stuff. That's interesting. I'm getting a little more tartness than on like the other Lindemann beers. I mean, mostly um, it's the flavor of the black currant. Ribena like flavor. After taste, it has a sour twang, like a tart berry flavor. It's not really um, tart lambic flavor or something. It's almost like you bite in, like, into a handful of black currants and you get that black currant flavor with that kind of berry tartness. Definitely some sugary notes. It's quite sweet. But it tastes like a black currant cordial. That's what it, I think it tastes like. Ribena. Said that count how many times I said Ribena in this review. That's what it tastes like. And I mean, I should knock it. Some people would probably think because it's not super authentic and whatnot. But it is not a bad beer, to be honest. I mean, it might be a girly beer in low EBV, whatever. It doesn't taste bad. I mean, Ribena tastes awesome, so I guess this kind of tastes awesome too. But from a craft beer enthusiast kind of perspective, I prefer the funky, sour tart lamb. It's not a bad beer, it's actually a really nice beer, but 
Lambic wise, if we if I only rate it on style and not personal preference and everything, this would probably get something like a 60, above average, because it just has a little bit of tartness and just just super fruity. But from my own personal opinion, I freaking love black currants. I love red bean cordial. So yeah, I kinda like this. I'm gonna go 80. I gave the creek an 80 as well. And I mean it's just kind of candy in a glass, and who doesn't like that? I mean, come on. So I mean, it's not as good as, I, I, I consider this a fruit beer, and if, at that it's a damn tasty fruity beer, <laughs> or fruit beer, but Lambic, not so much. So if you're super into Lambics and you're hoping to pick up something that's going to be sour and tart and interesting, this is not it, but if you want a nice, refreshing kind of summer drink that's going to taste a lot like black currants, well go ahead. So. Good stuff, but I'm sure a lot of purists out there is going to hate me for giving this an 80, so I think it's good, uh, refreshing stuff. So guys, definitely let me know what you think of the Lindemann's Cassis, if you've had it. As always, guys, remember to come subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and I want to say cheers, and I'll see you guys in another video.